Most people in America are familiar with where our rights begin and end, and anal retentive people want to say that we don't have the rights to talk about rights until we are, well, at an end. In life, we have the moments of time to speak the truth about love, and the truth about love is agape love is different than passion love and different than intimacy love and different than friendship love and different than camaraderie love and different than colleague love and I'm sure there's all other types of love out there but the love of a human being is something that we have a gift from God to give to others but the rage of a human being is not something that we should be enchanting and enticing with our behavior towards others in life, we have moments of time to seek the truth. And you seek the truth by staying with the lines of your life and the lines of your lovers. The minute you step outside of those lines and interfere with the total stranger's life, you actually are going to engage the rage of the human being and the revenge of the Lord. In life, we have moments of time to speak as a priest. And as a pagan priest, I can talk about the principles that I really adore and value from the International Pagan Federation that comes from overseas and how important those principles are to me. But what I can tell you is the liars of religion, the liars of faith, always abuse people. They abuse people with their games. They lie to people. They do things to people. They swear at people, but they really befriend people and then lie about people. And that's not okay with me. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about God. And speaking the truth about God says we remember the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes are basically the implication that if you're a person of prosperity, then you need to help a person of poverty. And if you're a person of education, then you need to find some students again. And in the world of mentorship, you have to have a mentee. But in the world of employment, you have to have employees. And when it comes to God, you have to have a mentor, and then you have to have someone to mentee. Because in the world and in the realm of spirit, there must be a little bit of with it and a little bit of wit and wisdom. But what I'm talking about this is that wise people do not chase after people that don't want anything to do with them. And unwise people chase after people who want something to do with them. Now, does that make sense to you? Or is God just trying to teach me another marvelous lesson about the bitch on wheels who destroyed my whole life, took away my wife, and literally I can blame other people. But that's what blamers do, and that's not what I've ever done. But I have people in my life who keep trying to say, stop playing the blame game. I'm like so I'm sitting there going, huh, I'm sorry, but I didn't stand inside a court of law to ruin a life. And I didn't stand in a court of law to try to lie on something that was a private conversation. And I didn't do this by throwing your property out on the front porch in the rain and breaking things that were really had a value to you. And I didn't walk into your storage room and steal things from you. And I didn't walk in your home and take things from your underwear drawer. And I didn't walk in your home and read your journals. And I didn't walk in your home and take your property. And I didn't walk in your home and, and borrow or be, berate or belittle or, or use and abuse your green screen. Does this make sense to you? Now, I am literally channeling word for word is something I could say, but if you're a Catholic person, you don't believe in channeling. And if you're a Christian person, you don't believe in it. You think it's a hateful thing, and it's not. And all we hear about in terms of oracles of words is that allegedly they were only female, and that is not true. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of God, and the truth of God is stop abusing people. Stop thinking you have power over people. Stop stepping out of your rights in your life to go after a stranger's life with your people. People are not projects, and people are not numbers, and people are God's people, not yours.